Hi everyone, welcome back to It's Dry Cooking Show. Today I'll be giving you a fish burger recipe with freshly caught fish from the ocean. I caught myself. Um, first of all, we're going to get the seasons ready for the fish, which I have my all-purpose seasoning. I want a little spice, so a little cayenne pepper, my grated onion, my grated garlic, black pepper, an egg, and some salt. Let's get it on the way. First, what I'm going to do is crack one egg open. So just in no random order, just put the mixture together. The garlic, the all purpose seasoning. The cayenne pepper. I'll put a measurement in the description below the black pepper and the garlic. The salt and just mix that around. So when next you see me, I'll be preparing the fish for this seasoning. Sorry for the noise. Okay guys, here I have my fish filleted. Well, not perfectly filleted, but filleted. Um, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to add it to my machine. be pureed so now what I'm gonna do is just gonna puree it sorry about the noise <laughs> that texture that's the texture that we want to get it at to add to the seasoning okay I'm back now you know I always do a lot of stylish things when I'm cooking so my butter for the, the fish burger would be none other than this Italian season biscuit so what I did I pureed in the in the blender and form this seasoning so let's get this on the way let's show you how I do this first of all we're gonna add the seasoning to the fish And we're gonna just massage it in of course you see that it's it's soft so there's where the butter comes in to get it to that texture when you're gonna fry it so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get the oil ready so that I just do everything at once there it goes all seasoned my fish patty for my fish burger see easy as that and the butter is to hold it together along with the egg so when next you see me I'll be rubbing it up getting the shapes and adding it to the stove so what I'm gonna do now is just add a little mix it in so as I go along now you can use breadcrumbs what in people normally use breadcrumbs to hold it together or flour but you know when I'm in the kitchen I try to do a lot of stylish things so I use that 
so you know this will actually hold it together see it's getting thicker okay guys ready to make the patty now it depends on how large you want them form it in a ball and then you press it out as easy as that nothing too fancy so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add it to the stove while this is cooking I'm just going to continue to add the rest guys thanks for watching please remember to make sure that your bell icon button is clicked on all I'm just giving you some nice home recipes that I normally do at home like for the weekends when you don't want to cook and you know well that say cook but it's cooking but you know the cooking that I'm talking about the hectic cooking and you know the fast food and stuff where you can actually prepare your own stuff so so when next you see me I'll be turning them making sure they're not burnt there you go guys I already had started to turn them nice and firm packets beautiful now don't do this at home where you put your finger in the pot now because I know what I'm doing okay guys so you just want to make sure that you cook them evenly you don't want to cook and then the middle is raw so you just give it some time make sure your stove is on medium heat because you don't want them to burn so when next you see me you join me at the table okay guys here's the finishing product my fish burger hope you guys enjoy <laughs>